Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's exam prep. Today we are going to have a very important daily dose and we are going to solve a wonderful problem that is going to be a combination of principal stresses and theories of failures. So let us see guys, this is a wonderful question we are going to solve. This is the question. If you see the question says the homogeneous state of stress for a metal part undergoing plastic deformation. So it is given to us, okay, it is given to us. And then they are saying where the, where the stress component values are in MPA using von Mises yield criteria, the value of estimated shear yield strength in MPA is. So my dear, first of all, you must be aware that when we are talking about von Mises theory of failure, that is nothing but MDET. According to this theory, we know that the shear yield strength is equals to 0.577 times of yield strength in tension. So my dear, the point is we need to find out the yield strength in tension first. Hey na? So when you want to find out that, what is the way to do that? For that, the formula for von Mises is sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2. And that is for 2D less than equals to SYT ka square. That is for 2D. As they have mentioned the plastic deformation will start. So it means factor of safety will be 1 only. Okay. So my dear, this is for 2D and for 3D we are having sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square plus sigma 3 square. And minus sigma 1 sigma 2 minus sigma 2 sigma 3 minus sigma 1 sigma 3. That should be less than equals to SYT ka square. So this is for 3 dimension. Now my dear, how to find out sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3? For that this coach's stress tensor is given. We guys are lucky that in this question, when we are talking about the Cauchy's stress tensor, we are lucky that these shear components are given zero. If they are not given zero, if they would be also having some values, then my dear, we need to find out sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3 using the eigenvalues. As you already know, that eigenvalues of Cauchy's stress tensor are giving us the principal stresses. But as they have given this 0, this 0, what do you mean by that? If this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. It means in Z direction, Z phase, Z direction. So here all the shear components are 0. And if shear components are 0, then, then my dear, that, uh, that plane is said to be principal plane. So Z, when we can say directly, it is going to be a principal plane. So this minus 10 will directly become sigma 3. And now you can consider this as 2 by 2 matrix to find out the other principal stresses. So you know that from this sigma xx is equals to 10, sigma yy is equals to 20 and tau xy is equals to 5. So we just need to apply the formula for sigma 1 comma 2 that is sigma xx plus sigma yy by 2 plus minus square root of xx minus yy by 2 ka whole square plus tau xy ka whole square. So if you are looking for that my dear you know xx is 10 yy is 20 we can use that and find out sigma 1 and sigma 2. So when you will find out sigma xx is 10 sigma yy is 20 by 2 plus minus 10 minus 20 by 2 ka square plus tau xy is 5 ka square. Actually when we are going to have this you know 10 plus 20, 30 by 2 is 15 plus minus, it is going to be 10 minus 20 minus 10, it is 5 cos square plus 5 cos square. So after solving you will get sigma 1 and sigma 2. So we are already having sigma 3 as minus 10. Now you just need to put the value of sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3 here. When you will put these values, you will get the value of SYT. And when you will be finding out SYT, you need to put this SYT here, you will get SYS. And when you will put this, the answer will be coming out to be 16.07 MPA. So this is a wonderful question, guys. And it would be a more better question if they would have given these values and known zeros. Then it would become a wonderful question. And I I can say with, um, you can say majority of the student would be unable to answer. Because eigenvalue concept is not known to all the students. Okay. So this is a wonderful question uh, on principal stresses plus theory of failure concept. So guys, just stay tuned with us to get such more daily dose episode. We are coming up with these sessions to make you more and more clear about the concept, show tricks and good numericals. So goodbye for this session. We will meet again in the next daily dose episode. Goodbye.